welcome to Awake Ones. My name is Lorraine Flaherty. I'm Alexandra Wenman. And today we are very happy to welcome our guest, Artie Cacard. Yes. And <laughs> making sure I pronounce that right. <laughs> and uh, Artie is, well, she's a hypnotherapist, but she's so much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really delighted that she's here today because we've known each other for quite some time now, haven't yeah. we? About three years. About so. three years. Yeah. So we've been on an amazing journey together. So you first came to see me. Yes. For some <laughs> sessions. And I've just witnessed this unfolding and this <laughs> blossoming of this young woman into, <laughs> into a therapist. And she's working with children. And she's doing all sorts of incredible things. And huge life transformations. So yeah. And she's got her own YouTube show now. She as well. has. I do. She has. <laughs> so two videos so far. Two, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the beginning of yes. something really wonderful. So we're just we're really excited to have you here today. And just wanted to ask you to, just to share yes. some of your journey. And because I know that people will relate to yeah. probably some of the challenges that you face. Yes. Because you started very much in the corporate world, didn't I you? I did, yeah. Yeah, and it was that, it was a cross, it was a real crossroads, wasn't it? Yeah. When you first came to a... see me on many levels. <laughs> well, on many levels, <laughs> in, I, it seems to be quite common, this crossing from the corporate into <laughs> self-employment yeah. and yeah. becoming your own boss. How did yeah. you feel when it first? Um, well, I've, I've always wanted to start my own business, but I've always kind of put it off and off and off. Um, and then I got married and it just didn't feel like the right time, except then my husband noticed that, <laughs> that I didn't, uh, that, you know, that I wasn't really enjoying my job and that I'd probably do better starting my own business and something I loved and um, gave me a little bit of a nudge. But <laughs> that's yeah. like um, so it was amazing, but I'm quite um, risk averse, so mm. I was still like, oh no, but I don't know, and it's really risky. What corporate think, work were you doing, Artie? Um, I'm work. I was working, and still am a little bit working as an actuary. Um, so that entailed doing loads of exams and loads of qualifications. So it did feel a bit like okay, I finished this qualification, but now I want to move on and do something else, which felt a bit silly. That's meant to be the start of your career. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something. But it's all, it's all relevant, though. Yeah, I find. And somehow we weave in everything we've learned, yeah. don't we? And I found that doing the hypnotherapy training really helped me in the corporate world, both with my own work, and then I started giving training, which wasn't hypnotherapy, but it was sort of training in team building and communication and that kind of thing at work. Um, so I'm still doing that part time as well. I'm running the development program um, and doing a little bit of actuary stuff. Wow. And then I'm also seeing individual clients, stress and anxiety management, giving workshops on mental health. Um, and stress and anxiety management as well in the workplace. That's awesome. I, I, I would love to know more about your work with mental health because it's such an important, mm -hmm. it's so important I think that we have more conversations about it and we get it out into the open yeah. more and make it less of a taboo thing I think. Yeah definitely. Um, so I'm doing workshops in workplaces to raise awareness so they can be like an hour or a whole day or a couple of days but to raise awareness of the signs and symptoms and what workplaces can do because it's not just work that creates mental health problems but what workplaces can do to support people and make sure that people don't burn out in the workplace yeah um which has been really useful it's such a big topic at work now um mainly because lots of days off are being taken for mental health and that kind of thing so it's costing money mm. um but then also workshops on how to manage stress and anxiety and i've found that actually just educating people in lifestyle changes that they mm. can make and what stress is and what causes it has a huge impact on their life so before yeah. before you even get into any of the specifics yeah. just people knowing for example to breathe deeply yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. wonderful that, <laughs> yeah. you know that you're going into <clears throat> these corporate spaces now yeah. too because i think it's one thing to re-educate the individual about self-care but i think that the corporate world needs to catch up with this as well yeah, and come definitely. Forward giving people time and this whole rat in a wheel, rat, you mm. know, working on a treadmill, working yeah. all the hours all the time and what's expected of workers these days is just beyond yeah. a joke. It so is. 
Yeah, so like you're not machines, and even machines yeah. need to switch off. So, you know, that's yes. great. You're like an insider. You're sort of re-educating <laughs> everybody from yeah. the inside out. Yeah, I mean, luckily where I worked, work um, has a really good work-life balance. But where I was before, that didn't, and that's why I moved job. Because like I'm about to get married, I don't think it'd be very good if I then I'm always at work. But just the fact that I had to think like that and make those decisions yeah. means there was something sort of a little bit askew in yeah. that work. And there, there was a wonderful moment, because I remember in your journey, where you were having to make some very big choices and decisions yeah. about what the next step was going to be. Yeah. And you really did do the ultimate leap of faith, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, so, I, wa- I was risk averse, so I, uh, I asked for part-time hours, and they said no, mm-hmm. and so I handed in my notice. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I just, it just leapt off the right. cliff. I leapt, yeah. leapt off the cliff, and it just felt like right. It felt really exciting. Um, by then, I'd done enough training to be able to work as a hypnotherapist, and I was also about to start a counselling children course, so I knew I'd have my hands full. Um, and my notice period was three months, um, so I was making all these plans in those three months, taking quite a few days off. Um, and I realised that actually it's quite good because part-time wouldn't have worked. It, I didn't have enough time. Um, and then two and a half months into it, so two weeks to go, um, they called me into the office and they were like, oh, actually, we could, you, we, you could do part-time. <laughs> 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 I was sort of like, oh, um, can I take a career break first because I kind of have plans? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Can I work two days a week? And <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Like, oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say yes. <laughs> like, if you don't ask, you don't get yeah, it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I think maybe my work ethic had changed during that time and I was more relaxed, so I wasn't so scared of, sort of making mistakes and stuff. So actually my work improved. Um, and also I was working with different people during that time and mm-hmm. I think maybe I clicked with them a bit more. Mm-hmm. So um, that, yeah, so... Both things actually meant that I was in a job after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask probably yeah. a really stupid question now because I'm not very aware of what an actuary does. Can Fair I? enough. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. I, I, love, I find it really interesting. We love stories about sort of where people have come from and, yeah. and what, what, what they've stepped into. Yeah. So many people are going through so many evolutions at the moment. Um, so an actuary looks at anything where there's a payment there's a payout in the future, so an insurance product or a health health insurance product um, or a pension, which is where I work in. And because that payment is so unpredictable, there's so, so much in the calculation of how much is owed. So with a pension scheme, for example, you don't know how long someone's going to work, when they're going to retire, how long they're going to live, when they're going to be able to think round corners. (laughs) (laughs) So So lots of probability, lots of statistics, lots of maths, lots of modelling. And then it's communicating that, actually. So that's really complicated. And it's the the skill is and then being able to communicate that to clients and make it seem really easy um, to understand. So, um, yeah, so that's why there's so many examples. So So very left brain. (laughs) It was whole left left brain brain that has been so developed. So then when you stepped into the the, the right brain world... Can you see why I had so much trouble with (laughs) it? Yeah. So now you have a holographic brain. Now I have, yeah. Talk to us a little bit. So they, obviously the hypnotherapy you're diving right into right brain. I mean, yes. it is the realm of right brain yeah. completely. But you've also been working with children, which is even more right brain yeah. because that's about creativity yeah. and, and you know accessing that whole other realm. So talk a little bit about that because that's been great as well. Yeah, so that's been amazing. So I did a course in play therapy, which is counselling children through play. And that's great because a five-year-old isn't going to come to you and say, look, I'm really stressed out. My <laughs> dad is getting divorced and this is the impact it's having on me. It's just yes. going to come out in their play. Yeah. Um, and so if you learn the skills of how to bring that out of them and how to help them express that, that can really help them when they then like process their emotions. So when they then go back into their world, which is often with adults, the therapy is often about the past. Mm. So they're going back into a relatively safe present whereas with children they're going right back into the sort of chaos yeah um but then they've got a space where they can talk about that and they can express that through play 
And that's it's got quite a lot of crossover with the hypnotherapy. Absolutely. So you're taking someone into the right brain uh -huh. and then it's all creative and playful. <laughs> <laughs> so so actually I see it as quite similar. Yes. Um the difference being there isn't like a solution focus, it's just letting them be and sort of express their emotions and get used to being able to feel their emotions and use yeah. the toys to do so. Rather than <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> We've done, done quite a lot of work on that, so I yes. have to be careful. There's a certain look, and she's just, oh no! <laughs> I'm just cringe. <laughs> I've noticed you've got the same eyes, so this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told that before. Allow Marty to express her emotions yes. safely in a space. But, that, but again, it was, that's why it was such a microcosm of the, the, the macrocosm, because all of the mm. stuff that you and I were doing together, yeah. it was so funny because there was this parallel journey going on, yeah. wasn't there, when you were doing Absolutely. your training, yeah. and the so recognition was... that for you to do your emotions <laughs> made it safe for then the people around yeah. you to do their emotions. So when you do training in working with children or adults, um, they make you have your own therapy. Yeah. Um, and she and... picked me, which probably not <laughs> the most sensible <laughs> idea. <laughs> she pushes you quite hard. <laughs> Good fun. <laughs> That's why I keep coming back. Um, yeah, you don't get away. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she tries. <laughs> I think I've hidden behind that. So <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. She does, she does do the look. She goes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're like, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm not the only one. No. I'll sit out on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was ha having that, and I was a bit like, oh, I don't need this right now. But actually, every single session was so useful, and so oh, yeah. kind of so so much was revealed about myself yeah. um, through doing that, doing all the journaling I needed to do for that course, and then coming to therapy and sort of unpicking it all <laughs> <laughs> even more. Um, and yeah, counselling and giving therapy, it, it is all about your own journey and what what you how far you've got, you can help others get. Yeah. Exactly. So. exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then there's another side to your life as well, because it's I don't know how I don't know how she actually fits it all in, to be honest. Um, but uh, part of the journey on the spiritual side. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's been really interesting as well. So when I first came to see Lorraine, it was because a lot had happened in my life in the previous two years, like. A lot. <laughs> like I'd moved, I'd fallen in love, I'd moved country, moved back again, got engaged, moved job, got married, moved house. I didn't tell you with this. <laughs> just, a few things. just a few things. My my grand died in that time, my dad had a heart attack in that time, a few other things happened. And I didn't know that all of these things, for some reason, I'm looking back on it, it's obvious, but at the time I didn't know that all of these things required you to process your emotions to make sure you're okay. And I didn't, so <laughs> so I ended up just being a very upset and angry person all the time, and um, my poor husband, he gave as good as he got, <laughs> but um, got a lot of like sort of stick, and I didn't like the person I was, so I sort of came like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Why am I so stressed? Um, but the kind of thing I was most stressed about was that my husband had sort of gone off on a spiritual journey and I hadn't really, I'd gone in the opposite direction. Um, I was quite into spirituality and religion as I was growing up and then I think I'd sort of decided in my early 20s that it wasn't for me anymore right. and I just wanted to live what I called a normal life. Um, and he'd gone in the opposite direction. So there was this sort of pull between us, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally. Um, and I was finding that really stressful and really difficult to handle. Um, but then um, in the first session, you told me that the outer world <laughs> is a reflection of what's going on inside you, which could have gone either way, to be honest. Uh -huh. I could have like thrown something at you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> But it was what I needed to hear, it's what I wanted to hear all along when I, whenever I'd ask anyone for help and they'd give sort of tips superficially. But what I actually wanted to hear was what am I doing that's contributing to this and what can I change? Yeah. Um, and then we had our first hypnotherapy session and that was, I didn't know what hypnotherapy was, so here I was trusting someone to, <laughs> <laughs> to take me to trance without knowing what it was. But I just found it incredible that just relaxing um, brought out all of these answers I had inside me about how to solve my own problems and 
I was surprised because at that point I was like, yeah, this is the work I'm doing and this is I'm sticking to it. And I don't know how you know, need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, Funny that. We did a we did a future life progression. So Lorraine took me five years into the future, and if I carried on like I was, yes. right then, what what would what would happen? And um, my subconscious mind brought up the symbol of a TV screen with sort of white noise. So <laughs> it, was, well, it wasn't good. It wasn't right. <laughs> no. So have you been and had another look at your future life since you've changed things? No, that was three years ago. So yeah. um, I have looked at like the what, what we wrote out that first session. So it was if I made a few changes, what mm-hmm. would happen what in would my happen? relationship and my job and that kind of thing. And if I made you know as many changes as possible, my highest possible future would be. And I was, at that point, I was working with children. I had started my own business. Um, I was getting on very well with my husband. And I would say three years on, that's a, I'm well on the journey wow. to, to that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like magic. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, do you do work with mindfulness as well, Artie? Or... Yeah. So that's part of... I do um, meditation classes at home um, once a month. And I teach mindfulness to people. And again, in corporates. So how do you kind of... Because you've obviously studied hypnosis and mindfulness. Is there much yes. difference between the two? What, what, what would you say is kind of the um, main difference between those two techniques, I suppose? This would be my distinction. So yeah. I don't know if people <laughs> will say something different. But I would say hip, for, hip, for me, hypnosis is about taking someone on a journey where there's some healing taking place or some um, solution-focused therapy involved, whereas mindfulness is more about focusing being on what you're doing moment. and being in the present mm. and that in itself um, reduces stress mm. but isn't but doesn't delve into the yeah. subconscious patterning yeah yeah but that's yeah. that's just my own distinction yeah. Yeah. it's nice that the two coupled together i think are quite good because then i suppose if people are having a, a stressful day mindfulness is really good to use kind of on the spot yeah. if you really need to just right don't let my stress take over yeah come in focus on what i'm doing you know yeah eat my lunch enjoy it you know, yeah. savour the moment, and then the, the <clears throat> hypnosis can help them then figure out what's going on to trigger yeah, exactly. that in the, in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And a lot of my clients have stress and anxiety, and it's, it's about using both approaches to yeah. Mm. Yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice combination, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I think for so many people, still to this day, when you say the word hypnosis, I mean, I still get people doing this. Yeah. You know, don't look at me. <laughs> Really, it's not in the eyes, let me tell you, it's yeah. the voice, and then they really freak out, don't yeah. talk to me, don't talk to me, I'm not listening, and you say mindfulness, you don't goes, think your eyes are hypnotic? Well, I know, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they start spiralling at you, don't <laughs> <laughs> that to me, <laughs> that's just you, yeah. all right, so sometimes it's like the eyes, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the main thing that it's about, but there's still a stigma attached to it, yeah. Yeah. people still think, that hypnosis means that you're going to be controlling people and making them to do things that they don't want to do and yeah. ugh, it's ridiculous. Whereas you're saying mindfulness, everybody goes, ah, oh. yeah. yeah. Everyone just assumes. Well, so we're so just going to do world. some mindful <laughs> hypnosis. Yes. So I spent quite a lot of time working in the corporate world and doing kind of negotiation and communication skills training. And I never used the word hypnosis. But it was amazing how people would come out of my sessions or come out of the day feeling very calm, very relaxed, very at ease. Somehow they felt different about themselves. Mm-hmm. Somehow their relationships with other people in the office were completely different. And lots of people were coming back because yeah. they, they felt so good. And I would only ever use the word mindfulness. Mm-hmm. We're just going to do a little mindfulness exercise now. Yeah. And, and then people felt completely <laughs> safe. Yeah. So again, it is about linguistics and language, yeah. but the two things are very similar. Yes. Yeah. It's just, I think, hypnosis, as you said, mm-hmm. is about making change. Yeah. Whereas mindfulness is about, it's a resource to manage. Yeah. yeah. In that moment and time. It's a little bit like yeah. yoga for the mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, how you go to a yoga class and you breathe and you take care of your body and you just spend a bit of yeah. time looking after you. Yeah. For me, mindfulness is like that. But yeah. it's just the mental part of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. You're just doing a little bit of an exercise to retrain mind, but it's not going to resolve any problems mm-hmm. or issues that you've mm-hmm. got. Yes. You could use the state to go in and find answers. Mindfulness in itself isn't actually yeah. going to be a, a healing tool. So no. there needs to be yeah. learn that and yes. then dive in and do the, the other yeah. stuff. Yes. You, I think in many ways you can't 
have one without the other. I mean, you can have the hypnosis, but then once you've done the hypnosis, it's about incorporating it into your daily life or living with, yeah. living with the, the change exactly. in the program that you've... Yeah. I mean, that happens subconsciously anyway. But then when you're mindful of it, you get even more benefits, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. And so you're managing to juggle now. So, <laughs> yeah, this so you're still working as an actuary yes. part-time. And again, this for all the people that are out there, we've talked about this before, where people have changed careers, mm. you know, where it can feel really scary and daunting to do that huge big leap. Yeah. And you trusted the universe. I did. You totally trusted. Yes. You took the leap. Yeah. And the reward then was that actually the steps... Yeah. to make it happen and the easiest way for you then just unfolded didn't yeah, it once you trusted exactly, so yeah. a few days working as an actuary yeah. and then you're doing the hypnosis yes. and you're doing some work with children as well yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about you know the world that you were in that was rigid and stuck yeah. and you know and needing sometimes when you need the, the, the discipline or you know yeah. sometimes I think people get caught up in that mm. thing where you want the safety or the security of yeah. that and yet you've now got all this variety of doing yeah. all the different things that you love. Yes. And it suits my personality really well to have that variety and have that... Yeah. There's always a project to work on and a change is as good as a rest, I, I would say. And I, I would say that it's important to take time to actually rest as well. And mm. there was a little bit of a period in time where I was falling into the trap of just always working without realising yeah. it. Mm. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stopped that. Yes, I have stopped that now. And there is, but somehow it all sort of fits in. Yeah. 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 I'm loving it. Yeah. So. And, and again, I think a big part of the journey is learning about what you are actually responsible for. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's true. That's a big part of <laughs> Yes, that was. Yeah. And how much it's all stepping into someone's life to help them, but then not yes. owning their stuff mm. and carrying it around myself. <laughs> and now you're out there sharing it all with, yeah. with, with everybody else so I love it, like all the tools that we learn then we, we kind of take them out and pass them on so this, yeah. this lovely ripple effect exactly. going on it's yeah. Yeah. and of course the wonderful thing about all of this work is that when you've been through the journey personally yes. and you've seen the changes yeah. and some of the changes have been yeah, phenomenal. phenomenal. <laughs> it's like you've seen me grow up from like. <laughs> it literally is. It literally is just you know unfolding and almost everything has changed. Yeah. You know, family situations. Yeah. Your relationship, your friendships. Yeah. The the world, every element of every your life. Every element of my life has changed. Yeah. Has totally transformed. Yeah. So obviously, the belief that you have in the work and in the processes is is going to be. Huge. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a huge belief in it. I would. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you are the living, walking, yes, breathing, the walking talking, talking evidence yeah. of what can happen. Yeah. 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 So, that energy when you're working with other people, which again is, is so much of, of what we have, mm. you know, I think you have to have that faith mm. and belief that when that person is sat in front of you, yes. you know change is possible. Yes. There isn't a question, there isn't a thought in your mind. <gasps> What if I can't help? What if I can't? Yeah. You know, what if this person can't change? Yeah. And so many times when that question comes up, when people talk about their challenges, yeah, and it feels like it's an impossible situation. Yeah. And when you're just sat in that chair thinking, yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna work. It is gonna work if you trust and have patience. And yeah. obviously, it's been an unfolding yes. journey. <laughs> you know, so often, Artie will come in and say oh, you know, there really isn't anything that we need to work on. I can't think of anything. <laughs> oh, they all say that. And so I just have a chat about yeah. what's been happening in their life. And then oftentimes, and, you know, we've joked about this, there'll be one line at the beginning of the conversation, there'll be just one little thing that she says, and I just make a little note <laughs> in my list, and then I just let, <laughs> let it unfold. <laughs> and then at a certain point, you know, we'll come round to something else, and then I just look. <laughs> and I said, let's just talk about that, shall we? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's when I start trying to hide them. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, yes. she's got me. <laughs> but again, you know, and we've always talked about this as well, you know, when you're working with someone and you're choosing somebody to work with, it's that trust, isn't it? Yeah. It's the trust yeah. that is so important. And obviously and you it, and I you and I have that now because it's you know, yeah. it's time and time again. It's been shown that that's what your clients yes and the people that come to you yeah and we know that people will always be drawn yeah. to the right person they somehow find you yeah you know they somehow know and it's a miracle really because you and i are both useless at email newsletters and <laughs> advertising and 
I mean, we have a YouTube channel, channel now, which is good. But yeah, yeah, we're, we're, you know, like historically. Yeah. But I don't know what I don't know what we would do without Sally. Sally can't be here today because she's quite busy with her work. But yeah, we just need her to know when she's watching how important <laughs> she is because the two of us are a bit useless. But actually, no, we're changing. We're getting better. But on that note, like. Your YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. So I, <laughs> wanna, so I really want to celebrate this because, you know, obviously this is, again, women joining together, joining yeah. forces, yeah. supporting each other, lifting each other. Yeah. So who's the friend that you're working with? Shaima. Hi, Shaima. Hi. <laughs> it's really obvious and she offered to come in and just like film for us. Oh, like, no, we fine. should. <laughs> We'll have to so, join forces. Yeah. Sally was very upset to not meet RT <laughs> today because RT has also, she's been so wonderful and supportive and commenting on our videos yeah. and, yeah. you know, <laughs> really, really contributing, which we really appreciate. You know, we've, we've said, you know, it's really important for us that we're out there reaching. So Sally was so excited. <laughs> so when something happened today that she couldn't be here, she was like, no! <laughs> so we have to bring you back yeah. anyway. So yes, yeah, so we'll be able to shine the back. Yes. And what's, what's her background? Um, so she studied psychology, so she's always right. been very interested in how the mind works and all of that kind of thing. And then she, um, a few years ago, read a book about the law of attraction. Okay. And that has just spiralled into... like You're covering all bases, you yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she works a lot with the law of attraction herself and with people that she works with as well. Um, and also sort of works as a psychologist, so we both right. have very busy work lives. Yeah. Um, but we found, like, as we're sort of going along our life journey, we never used to talk about anything spiritual, really. We've known right. each other for years. Um, but, yeah, it's, I think we sort of found that our paths were sort of simultaneously moving right. in the same direction. It's funny that. And that. <laughs> it's just, yeah, having that, having that person to sort of bounce ideas yeah. off, to sort of have support. And like I said, I didn't really talk, all of that stuff happened in my life one after another, but I didn't ever talk about my emotions or what was going on for right. me, but actually learning that I can and that it's good to you and that it's important yeah, to you. Yeah. Um, Shaima and I are always sort of bouncing things off each other and bouncing or like supporting each other. We're just, you know, if I'm having a rough time, she'll just turn up and vice versa. Um, and we thought having these videos would be a really good way of um, getting, getting our journey out there, I guess, and getting what we've yeah. learned out there. Um, so we try and do them once a month and it's always very exciting. Like, sort of winter. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. And what, so what are you calling, calling it? it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh. Interestingly, <laughs> we're calling it Soul Sister Sync. So, <laughs> yeah. Soul Sister Sync, yeah. <laughs> it's just a oh, random name we came up That's with one brilliant. day. So, yeah. Um, and it was, and it is because we do, totally, like, we seem to have, like, our, our grandmothers died within a week of each other, for example. Wow. Um, so we just seem to have, like, coincidences that I think we've come up yeah, with yeah. each other's past lives. Coincidences. So. Coincidences. <laughs> things that we know nothing about yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> we've come up in each other's past lives, I think, but we yeah. haven't really talked about that. We're just well. like, oh, you were in that you were in my past life, but I won't say what you were doing. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can yeah. both go and Thanks explore and, that. and share notes yeah. at the end. That's what we're doing. Like, oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm remembering some of those past lives now. <laughs> Shame up. <laughs> <laughs> but we know it's the ones yeah. that love us the most that come in and yeah. test us and give us the biggest yeah. challenges because they know that's how our soul is going to evolve. She's killed me in many yeah. past lives. Oh, they and really you haven't killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Only some of the time. It will never happen again. I swear. Really not in this time. <laughs> Sometimes I come come back. <laughs> a lot of our the things we've had to heal in ourselves yeah have yeah. totally been really parallel with each yeah. other like his so my sort of oh i don't need spirituality and religion and his yeah. sort of like oh but it has to be this way and there's no other way and we had to sort of meet in the middle yeah. um and i think like and that there's so many different things where we've sort of like looked back on something and gone, oh actually we really needed each other to bring that out in each other. Yeah. So I think, yeah. And it's been a remarkable journey for yes. the two of you. Yes. Has, obviously, <laughs> following you know, the, the path of this journey. And it's, again, it just, it is so inspiring, actually, mm -hmm. what, what, you know, you guys have actually created through a very 
challenging star. Yes. And um, you know, um, I haven't met her husband, but one day <laughs> she loves him. I love him, <laughs> and I just love the way he he tests you. Yeah. And and yet and you know supports, me supports well. you yeah. and and listens. Yeah. Oh, that sounds familiar. He listens, yeah. and actually, not only does he listen, but he takes action, and mm. he is taking full responsibility. Yeah. And going off and doing his own work. Yeah. And he watches exactly. you do the work, and then he's gone off and maybe done it differently. And that, for me, is, it's, like I said, it's just so inspiring to find a couple that will not point the finger of blame and say, you're the problem, yeah. you need to change, to yeah. sit back and go, oh, actually, what am I contributing to this? Yeah. You know, how can I heal so that we can be better? Yeah. And for me, that is just, you know, it is the, it's the perfect balance. Yeah. It's huge. And it's, it's the way, you know, Dynamic it's all dynamics and relationships, mm-hmm. and whether it's a yeah. marriage, whether it's a business partnership, yeah. You know, if if we in life could go through mm. that way, yeah. instead of going, oh, you know, it's that person, <laughs> you know, why yeah. are you doing this to me? Why am I experiencing this? But but people take stock and think, all right, how can I change? Oh, yeah. God, how can I be better? <laughs> Wait, yeah. we go overboard on it sometimes, don't? What am I doing to yeah. create this in my life? I've definitely been that. I think they're absolutely bad at that. Yeah. Too. Yes. <laughs> and that's, again, that's the balancing responsibility. And then yes. also owning, okay, actually. I'm not responsible for that. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I one of our favourite sayings, it kept popping up on Facebook for a while with some, some really great pictures of, you know, not my circus, <laughs> not my monkeys. Until one day you wake up and think, ah, oh, actually, this one is my circus. These yeah. ones are my monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> but my monkeys fly, yeah. obviously. Yes, and they <laughs> might wear ruby slippers from time and, to time. Yeah, they do. They do. Ruby slippers. But it's a process of learning, like, you know, yes. when I first came, I was like, I know I'm contributing something, but I really need help, like, working out what. But, yeah. And it's a process of learning and recognising that. That's right. Because it's deeply embedded, and we don't yes. know, because we're so caught up in who we've been, yes. and our story, which we believe, yes. because it's our story, <laughs> and yes. it's been repeated over and over and over and over again, and so we are convinced that that is the way the world is, yeah. until one day you start picking it apart. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you start diving in through the layers. And, and oftentimes people will, on this journey of yeah. healing, go, but I've worked on that. Yeah. I've done that. It's like a spiral, isn't it? It's like, well, you've done that <laughs> surface layer of it. Yeah. And then the braver you get and the stronger you get <laughs> and the more you learn, the, the deeper into the thing that you can go. We're <laughs> laughing about the spiral. about <laughs> <laughs> the spiral because I could keep my mind. <laughs> no, spiral. we're back here we're again. Going, I'm going to go to Shima. She keeps talking about the tab spiral. <laughs> it's <laughs> not the same. I got used to. <laughs> All these slightly different kind of threads that go yeah. off. So you can have a, a similar. You might work on one thread and yeah. then you can find a really similar program running, yeah. but it won't be the same thing, but it will yeah. feel like it's the yeah. same thing. But there are slightly different nuances. Like I work a lot with trapped emotions, and sometimes when you're working through those layers, it's like layers of sediment. Yeah. But it might be that on that thread, there might be similar emotions at play, but they're layered up in a different way because of the way that that okay. dynamic played out. Yeah. And if, with that one, it might be layered up in a slightly different way. One might be to do with romantic relationships, or one might be to do with familial relationships, or okay. whatever it is. But there's yeah. always like a subtle. And then of course, you know. Follow every thread. Yes. And then eventually <laughs> get to the root and rip it out. Yeah. Because yeah. the spirals are actually caught up in a huge big tapestry. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> but I love it. Big, and it's messy. When you get, and on, it's complicated. When you get on one thread and you just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've never said anything. No, not that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> you step back and look at the bigger picture and go, oh, yeah. it all makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. I think I have a bit more patience now at the yeah. start. Like, but isn't that why isn't that fixed yet? So like, <laughs> I can feel like you're going right, down a sort of rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, and of course, as we go through the journey as well, and we're all works in progress. You know, it's it's the same thing. You know, I, mm. I hold my hand up to experiencing all this. But the wonderful moment when you find yourself in one of those situations that used to challenge you, and the chaos happens, chaos or drama or whatever you want to call it. And suddenly you realise that you're in the midst of it and it's just going right over the top of your head mm. and it just doesn't get to you anymore. Mm. And so you've transformed completely. And then the beauty of that is that when you've changed energetically, 
and you are able to hold space and just be in your power in those crazy environments. Yeah. There's no fuel being added to them, and then they just drop. Mm. And then suddenly, you see that the other people around you are going, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you walk away, and afterwards, yeah. and the, the immensity of it will then hit you, going, wow, that's yeah. completely different. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to celebrate, because you know, except that that's the daunting thing. So, okay, I've worked on that one now, what's coming next? <laughs> yeah, and they just get more intense at the time, doesn't it? <laughs> I know that's really good that that has been resolved, but now I'm actually slightly terrified <laughs> about the next one. The next one. <laughs> but I'm sure you, when you know, obviously it's early days yet as as you're working through. But and we've talked about this: the fact that when you are working as a, a therapist and you're working in that healing capacity as well, yeah. that the universe has a really wonderful way of letting you know if there is something that yes. you need to work on. Yeah. Because you end up with. Why? Several clients presenting the same thing. Oh God, yeah. Big mirror in the face. Yeah. yeah. All in a week. Is this normal? Is this just like the, the same problem everyone has in their life? Or, or is the universe trying to tell me something? Yeah. Yeah. And then yes. you go away and do some work on it and yes. then it changes. Yes. Or it could be the flip side, you work on something yeah. and then you know you how to know resolve, how it. To resolve yeah. it for other people. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. people come in. So, yes. yeah, there are signposts everywhere yes. that let you know what Absolutely. needs to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. for you, what's obviously the, you know, all these new things that are coming up? So, what would you say is the most exciting thing about it for you? Um, I think it's that I'm loving my job mm. and I, yeah, <laughs> and I didn't for so long or I liked it sometimes but not at other times and now it's like everything I do, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because it does, it is a lot and I probably should drop something so right. I can work more on something else, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, what, bit, what bit to let go of? Um, and I, I love the variety of it so I really like seeing my individual clients, I really like doing workshops yeah. and if there isn't much of that going on then I can do more on social media so I like that there's always something I can be doing to help yeah. help and get this message out there and get more people um, aware of mental yeah. health and how to how to help themselves. So yeah, I think just, just the fact that it feels like my heart is singing when I work yeah, anything, you know, yeah, so, yeah. 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 So how can people find you, Artie? Um, I have a website, innerconversations.org, um, Instagram, Facebook. And your Instagram YouTube. is your name, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. so it's Artie Cackard, I see, um, and Facebook is Artie Cackard, I see as well. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put all the links. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... YouTube is also RT Cackard, I see, I think. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Soul yeah. Sisters Sync. Soul Sisters Sync, so yeah, so that's on my YouTube channel. Yeah, amazing. We want more, and we need to get you both in, I think. Yeah, that's more. amazing. We'll do, a, we'll do a, an updated yes. episode at some point. Yeah, that would oh, be amazing. <laughs> Thank you yes. so much for coming in and. Yeah. It's really great that I don't actually have to grill her about anything. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I don't have, I'm just really like holding back the look. I don't know, I don't know how entirely relaxed she is still though. She's like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared she's going to go, no, I'm relaxed. <laughs> just a chat, love. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> no, it's really wonderful. Yeah. And Thank you for inviting me. I, I feel, I, don't, I mean, to, to say proud probably sounds like the wrong word, but. But, I think, but, but, but you have seen it in the change. I, 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 I yeah. feel so proud of you and what you've achieved <laughs> and accomplished. It's it's very heartwarming. Yeah. Me, so thank you. You're well, an thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> teamwork. It, it was teamwork, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Sometimes I had to kick to get the teamwork to happen. <laughs> yeah. It was teamwork. It was teamwork. Yeah. yeah. And, and the me three or four years ago did not accept no. help from anyone. So. Yeah. And, you <laughs> and you went there, that's the thing. Yeah. Is that even though there was resistance, you went there. Yes, I did. <laughs> In the end. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's the message, isn't it? Be yeah. brave, you go there. Mm. You know. It's never and as bad as it seems. Mm. No. I go there and it's bad for the moment, and then I'm like, oh, I feel a little better now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like popping a boil. <laughs> When will she learn? It's <laughs> not as bad as this. <laughs> I don't know what you're actually thinking, but that's what I'm actually thinking. <laughs> she just has that, that little wink in her yeah. eye, like, smirk on her face. <laughs> she'll get through it, she'll feel so much better. And you do, and you're like, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing as well, is that 
one of the things about the journey is that it is intense, it is emotional, but it is, you know, we we actually do laugh quite a lot in the sessions yeah, we too, do. don't we? So, yeah. you know, it isn't all doing We hope so. They go all... for about four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. I live all doing and glory. They're hilarious. I've yeah. often said we should film them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want anyone else to see them. No. <laughs> She's filmed me before. Uh, yeah. Has she? <laughs> Sobbing my heart, yeah, really attractive looks. Laughter, tears. <laughs> yeah. I have often said it should say on my business card that I make people cry, but I don't think I can get in the heart, so. <laughs> so, so a bit one in the <laughs> Anyway, on that note, <laughs> thank you, Artie. Yes, thanks, thanks for inviting so me, and, and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.